to show you a pretty cool little trick we use all the time um, uh, where I work. As you can see, we had a downhill skier here, but we really can't tell much about him. So let's give it a little effect here to make it look pretty good. So let's take this and we want to duplicate it. So to edit menu, hit duplicate or command D and that will duplicate our photo, our movie. Now you can see we have two right on top of the other. Okay, so let's take this first one and let's scale it way up, way up so we can see the skier real well. And right there he is. Okay, now on the scaled version, let's take the mask, the circle mask tool, and let's draw out a circle mask around him like so. Now I'm going to go to my mask tab and give it some feather like so, so the edge won't be quite so hard. Now we're going to select both the mask by holding shift and the clip. And I'm going to put it over here onto the side like so. And now, of course, we can um, tweak this. We can scale it up some more. Now, as you can see, we have a close-up of our skier going down the hill. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to keyframe this. So, let's go ahead and select this and turn the scale on it all the way down. We'll put him right over that like that. And we'll scale it pretty far down here. Okay. Now that's right over top of that. You really can't tell much about it. If we hit the record key, you know, as you can see, we can set keyframes for our rotation and our position and our scale. Okay. Now we can go up a little bit. Like this. And then we can take this and move it on down. Okay. So now that's moving right along, and now we're going to go up a little bit more, and we're going to scale it. Like so. Now as you can see, when we get right here, we're going to want to animate our mask. So let's select our mask. Let's animate our boy there. Let's go ahead and finish animating our mask on down like this. Until he goes off screen. And he's gone. So now we got us a pretty cool effect here. Let's turn off our record button. Let me turn off our timeline and our project. And as you can see now, let's go ahead and move this around, zoom it up. Now when we play it, you can see he starts coming down the hill. Of course, you'd want to, you know, if you, you'd want it to go further, but this is all, this is the only clip I got. Also, if you want to make it a little less noticeable, you can add a blur to the mask. Just a simple Gaussian blur, and that will kind of clear up the edges. Now, as you can see, you can't tell that that is over top of it. Now there's several ways to do this. This is just a real quick fast way I wanted to show you guys. Now when he comes in, zoop, our little thing comes out and we can see a blown up version of our guy going down the hill. Okay. We should have waited till about right there before the mask come in. We should let him get down the hill a little ways before I bring the mask in. And if you want to, you can go in and you can adjust all that inside your um, keyframe editor 
as you can see here now we have our mask and everything you can see it comes in about right there let's go up a little bit and see what happens here Okay, that makes it a little smoother. I want to smooth out my... Transition there. Now let's select our mask. Let's go back to our timeline. If you want to, you can make the mask come in a little later if you like. But then you're going to have to go back and readjust everything. Because as you can see here, we have our little... window which gives it kind of a different effect really as you're playing you can see it comes in so let's take this back and to put it very simply let's close everything down let's set an out point like that and when we play it you'll see our little guy comes out and we can see our downhill skier thanks for watching